welcome back to the channel everybody so you've seen us obviously on with the e36 it's another part to the build that we're doing with the 36 and throughout the video you'll have seen us being happy and dead chirpy and oh this is cheap and that's cheap and this isn't costing much money oh no shit's just got real so things have took a, a bit of a turn so with the 36 the problem that we had with the power steam which you saw in the last clip was it was basically leaking and we couldn't find out where it was leaking from so we obviously in the last video we topped the reservoir up got the power steering work and drove the car it was lovely parked it back up um it was trial and error we just wanted to see if it was leaking obviously it was because we were losing fluid from somewhere so we topped it all the way up got it working nicely parked the car back in the unit to find what can only be described as a red pool of piss on the floor the next day so yes yeah, so basically as it turns out when we've had a good look at it where the rat is all the pipes are just the all the shit the base is rotten now rather than i don't want to cut corners with this build i want to do it once i want to do it right so rather than mucking about we've looked at all the pipes and to be honest they're all absolutely shot to death i mean they look like the original pipes to me so 1998 those pipes have, have had some use and obviously they, they they've suffered over the the test of time if you like and they are weak and it's not just one pipe that's weak we've had a look they're practically all weak and the connections the, the fixtures the bolts the fittings they're all shot to shit so we basically spoke to a pal of mine who is a tech at BMW, gets us parts um, a little bit cheaper than standard rate, like a trade if you like, and he's priced all the power steering pipes up. Now, this to me was a, was a shock. I know it's not a fortune, but I was very surprised. So, to replace all the pipes, um, fixtures and fittings, it's basically 250 quid, which I was a little bit gutted about, but, you know, I didn't, didn't really want to cut corners, so I might need to buy these pipes, so that's cost us 250 quid just for the pipes. Now, what we're going to do is these 36 as well, there is a, an upgrade that people do which is the rack from the e46 it's called the purple tag rack it's an update it's a slightly quicker rack so we were going to update the rack to a purple tag uh, but looking at the old rack the old rack is working fine so what we're going to do is first of all we're going to buy these pipes and we're going to fit the pipes to the standard rack and see if we can get the steering work and and obviously leak free so we've ordered the pipes anyway 250 quid hit and we're going to fit them up we've got some some more new bits as well some nice some jazzy bits so the a46 sorry a36 m3 comes with like a, a plastic lovely little plastic lip across the front of the bumper and it makes all the difference so we've ordered one of those uh, 150 quid for that but it's something that'll be really really nice and the most important part of this video is wheels so i mentioned the e36 to me the wheels were a huge thing it's make and break a lot of people the purists will go on well why don't you just leave the standard wheels on but I'm building this car for myself i want it to be to my spec and kind of how i want it now to me a 36 sitting low on a nice set of splits is exactly where i want to be so i've been hunting non-stop now for about six weeks for wheels and i've eventually found the set now i had to jump on them straight away they were listed on facebook and they were 450 quid which i saw was very very cheap so the wheels that we've gone for which i'll i'll, I'll go to in the next clip on the same video we've gone for a set of bbs rx2 genuine splits these are 17 inch they're a very very rare wheel um 18 sorry eight inch all round and they are perfect fitment and offset for the 36 so these wheels are down in wheels we've paid the guy for them and they're getting brought up, up to us tomorrow so we'll put this in the video hopefully is like them what we're going to do is the bolts in the wheels which i'm going to show you in the next clip are all silver the centers are silver we're going to change the bolts up and we're going to go for some nice gold bolts just to make them look a little bit jazzier and we're going to go with some green bbs centers which are almost identical to the color of the car with a gold bbs badge as well so wheels uh, yeah I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing with the wheels to be fair the power steering pipes not so good but the wheels obviously we happy so we'll show you the wheels in the next clip um and i'll also show you the little split that we've gotten as well the split is really nice to be fair so the little split that we mentioned obviously that's it there as you can see it doesn't look like much it's a very very subtle add-on but i think the key to this 36 is to keep it kind of oem plus not to go too far with it these are a beautiful car as standard i just wanted to add a a few nice aesthetics that would make the car look a little bit better and the splitter for me is definitely one that was worth doing so you get the rough idea obviously it's not fitted up to the car there but we'll kind of offer it up so you get a, a rough idea that just kind of sits on the bottom edge of the bumper there and obviously is quite nice um so that needs doing um we will also in this clip show you the lights off the dash we're waiting for the uh, the cable coming from dan he's going to bring it over shortly but that's a little lip splitter i think you'll all agree it'll make a nice little difference once the car's finished 
Right, so on to Wales. You have to excuse the noise in the background. It's very windy and obviously shutters are going mad. So if you hear that, I'm uh, sorry for that. But yeah, I said Wales were a big thing and I have searched high and low and I've literally been on for about six weeks now. So this is what we've come up with, which I'm absolutely over the moon with. These do not come up for sale. Very, very rare wheel. So what we've got is BBS RX2. These are genuine BBS split rims. Uh, they are eight inch wide and 17 inch in size um, luckily enough picked some tires up yesterday from a guy which is a nankang ns2 sport it's like an intermediate tire they're not really anything flash um, but then we're only 80 quid so we, we fit them on there for now i think what we're going to do is the wheels themselves uh quite decent condition for the age they look like they're original and they haven't actually been split so they have been looked after very well i think what we're actually going to do with these though i think we're going to split the wheels put some gold bolts in there and run some green BBS centre caps with gold right in to match the bolts. But I mean, I don't know, what do you think? I mean, generally I'm very, very happy with it. Obviously we'll need to kill some of that arch cap there, as you can see. That is going to need to come down a little bit with the coilovers that we're going to get. And what we'll do is we'll have a mess about with the camber and see if we can get it to sit right. But yes, that's the wheel choice and I think they complement the car quite nicely. I don't think the two over the top. Um, but generally, I mean, I'm I'm pretty happy with those. So this basically leads on to the next video. So with regards to where we're at with the car now, I, I feel really good about it. I feel like we're moving in a decent direction and the car's starting to get a little bit of traction. We are starting to get through it. Um, the ste steering pipe should be here from BMW probably next week, uh, which is a job Dave definitely isn't looking forward to. But nevertheless, I'm assuming that we do need to do to get the car right. Uh, we're going to check the steering rack again, as from the previous clip in the same video. We'll see how that steering rack goes. If it's not good enough, we'll buy a purple tag and swap that one out as well. And then we spoke to the fabricator as well, and we can actually get the car booked in to get the rear jacking points addressed. They're a little bit softer, again, from previous clips. They do need sorting out, so we will get to those jacking points. And then I think what I'm going to do is I think I'll MOT it, uh, make sure it's right and ready for the road. And once the MOT is done, I think we'll start gathering the new front wings, new front nose cone, and then we'll take the car to the painters and get the car into paint. The way things is actually looking now, I'm hoping, obviously it depends how this COVID thing goes, if you've been watching the news, it's a piss take, obviously we're going to two or three, full lockdown, so that should give us plenty of time to crack on. My only worry is, in terms of parts, obviously when this COVID thing, you know what it's like, anything, bloody wood, deck and floor paint, everything dried up, jacuzzis, you name it, well, the last lockdown, things got really difficult to get hold of, so I'm hoping that the parts are still going to be ready available and we can actually crack on with it, because if we can order the bits in and get the car to the fabricators, again, depending on who's working, it should be in paint before Christmas, and we should have it somewhere near. Um, another little, a little, well, bit of good news for me, the 106 Rally, which I've mentioned in some of the other videos. Now, I've been waiting for this car now for probably nine months. The guys rang me yesterday, and the 106 Rally's actually ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to obviously go big for the 106 Rally video and, and get a proper video out there. We'll get some nice pulls in it. Um, we'll get the drone out and we'll, we'll feature the car. We should have a nice little video of that little rally. So that's definitely something that's worth watching. Um, and who knows, uh, next summer, you know, I should have both cars sat there ready to go. But uh, thanks for staying tuned. Don't forget to hit like and share. Um, and I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks a lot.